Okay, back, taking off. Um, I'm just getting out of this area. <laughs> That's not too bad. Okay. All right, so now I'm going this. Oh, yeah, I want to turn around, go to Spanish Peaks. Spanish Peaks sounds like turn it's pro right at the stop sign. probably more it. Uh, I got to be able to get out and walk around, but find a good spot to, to do that. Uh, I'm losing circulation in my right leg. So a little further down, I'm going to Spanish Peaks. I don't know what the deal is with La Vita Library. Maybe I can ask when the library opens up. In one quarter mile, arrive at Spanish Peaks Library on the left. On the left? Okay. Looks like there's a school. Okay, between Spruce and Elm. This is Spruce. It looks like a school. Are you sure it's a library? Arriving at Spanish Peaks Library on the left. It doesn't look like a library. It may be. Oh, okay, there. There's some more evidence. Ooh, ah! Some people are, oh, it's a one way here? Some people are already parked in this, in the lot. I don't see any regulation. Uh, I don't know, just parking anywhere. Ooh, am I gonna hit that curb? It looks like a school. This is just one big library. Mm. I might have been barked at by like 30 dogs, 30 different dogs in just the few miles I traveled around. Of all varieties. He stopped moving. He's cooking something sinister up. This cabbage was attacked by worms. I wonder if any got inside. I wonder if they ferment too. So I drink coffee about four days in a row, maybe two cups each day, and I skip out on today, and I got another headache, going through coffee withdrawals, been sleeping a lot, and got slight headache, it's pretty good stuff, but I don't like withdrawals. Alright, so I'm north of the Ludlow Massacre Monument. I saw the turn for that, I just didn't want to make that turn. Uh, north of here, Ridwell Wilson, he had a stroke. I guess, yeah, Pueblo would have a lot of stuff. So I'll be surrounded with, well, not a lot, it's just three things on here. There's probably more. So, yeah, things have happened around this area of noteworthiness. It's amazing I can walk on so many, so many uh, areas with grass. It's like, was almost like Wisconsin again. With all these dandelions and stuff, it's kind of neat. It's soft. It's, uh, it's going to be a long time before I see those desert conditions again. Alright, so coming down from the library, I'm noticing a slight decline in elevation here. This would be the area that's at risk of flooding then, it's in a decline. The library would not be at risk, down here would be. I'm not sure how low it goes, I haven't really paid that close of attention, but this, this drop is noticeable. So even though I got a headache last night, I still could go for some coffee today. 
Those withdrawals aren't as so bad. You kind of forget about them, especially when you can take aspirin. So I guess uh, <clears throat> I will be taking more aspirin these days because of uh, with coffee withdrawals. I really enjoy this stuff. It's and I'm, I was thinking um, this gas station probably has coffee. And it's like you go there for two black liquids: your gas, a kitty, and coffee two black liquids fill up your car and fill up yourself it's kind of amusing to think about for my at this moment is this chicken wire they put chicken wire on the on the windows all right so a little evidence from this side i, I don't really feel like walking around i could probably go in at this time they open it like really early and I think it's the courthouse and something, yeah, reserved for sheriff's department, so courthouse and sheriff's department. It's a big long haul. <laughs> I could pro they, they like to open up early. Authorized personnel only. Use front entrance. Okay. Yes. Well, I'll just walk to the front. Oh. Oh. There we go. I guess they're not open. <clears throat> and out of all the statues, oh, this is because it's the mining museum. <clears throat> the doors seem open, but I think they're open last time. Somebody, they got a lot of jailbirds. This must have been an old county, must have been an old jailhouse. I didn't realize. So you have the courthouse there, and then you just walk them right over to the jail. I have found this interesting. First, this train is coming, but this is really neat. Oh, they got a cross on the side like that. Huh, that better be the last honk. No. Nope. Was this a part of something older? It kind of looks like it. They wouldn't have just made this des this wall design like this. What they have, and then use it as part of. Okay, there it is. It says that it was built in 1899. Okay, somebody was born in 1899. I don't know then. The wood looks old. <coughs> they got something on the other side. They did a really neat job of um, incorporating like an old look with a new look. I can't tell if it's authentically old though. But the ghost of Hope Stove is on this train somewhere. What's the deal with this business? Thousand dollar reward. All right. For what? Oh, a laundromat. But they're closed due to a leaking roof. Uh-oh. That's too bad. They closed because they're closing all snow and rain days. The ghost of Hope Stove is riding this train in spirit, in spirit, along with the other hob hobos who've ridden trains. And what they're carrying, I don't know, it's specific for these carts. There's somebody on the train. Is that somebody on the train? There's a little package on the end of one train that looked very unusual. Uh, but I couldn't make out any face. It's like somebody may have been laying down. I don't know I never really noticed it before there's a lot of stuff on the ends of these trains That that seem a little Like it could be a person's belongings, but it's really not it's They got like motors It's like some kind of a motor thing. I want to stand back a little bit. You can see. Huh. And then in the back of the laundromat, I got some old crumpled building. Whoa. This is behind the laundromat. 
So very few people are putting up sandbags. Here's another good example. It's ready for it. Contact C. Parsons. Even got this door. But everybody else hasn't blocked anything. They're just waiting until the last minute, maybe. Still have yet to look at that Friendship Museum. They had horses inside. Wow. What's inside here? Uh, black powder can? Huh. Anometer to measure airflow? Methane gas? Anometer. Huh, I've never really known about that one. Yeah, today is not either of those days. Let's see if I can. This is kind of a museum. Historical. So these people had decided to use a semi truck to haul their RV or haul their camper. That's really rare. I hear poochies. <laughs> Oh what is it? What is it? <laughs> to recreate the opening. All right, I got some apricots. These are very rare because the very rareness part of them is because they're 100% juice. Got these at the old Safeway in the local local old Safeway here. Walmart never sells these. Oh my goodness! I did not read that. It's in pear juice concentrate. It's a little deceiving. I did not read that, but I like pear juice a lot, so I forgive them. I'm gonna try it. Very good. I wish it was all apricot though, but pear juice is acceptable. So I gotta say, it's, it's a little bit more convenient to have this speedy stitcher all ready to go. The thread is sticking out. I got the needles and everything. I don't have to open up a bag or nothing. And I wanna, f I wanna save this. Uh, I, I usually put my money in this part of the bag. I wanna save it. It's gonna be entirely held up by the thread I put in. I think at some point it's like all this, all the original canvas is just going to fall apart. Zipper is still good. I'd like to bring that back to use by sewing it enclosed again. Most people would throw this bag away in as bad a shape as it is. The bottom all full of holes and stuff. But me sewing, I can feel I can uh, re reinforce those and and really put a lot of effort in just reinforcing reinforcing the whole bag in general it takes some time but you can give it give it a new life <laughs> well a Frankenstein type life maybe you call it a Franken bag see I just had this this white uh, maybe in late teens kid walk by my car about uh, 15 feet away. He looks at me, we make kind of eye contact, and then he looks away. And that's usually um, a gesture that puts me at ease, okay? But I'll have other, I have to say races, they just continue to stare at me as they walk by. We just, we lock, eye contact the whole time as until they get out of view and that is disturbing to me and they do that white people tend not to do that right this is the workroom for today 
I think a lot of these yogurt, these cheap yogurt manufacturers want to avoid the controversy of putting gelatin, gelatin in here because that would just be an embarrassment. They squeeze the milk out of the cows for the yogurt and then slaughter them for their joints for all that cartilage and stuff to add firmness to the yogurt. You want to know what I think is interesting, which is probably silly, but on Instagram, I've been on Instagram for a while, and I admire the CrossFit female models. Many, many, many beautiful women who get into somewhat sexy poses, but they're not, they're, they're not, they're not flat out doing the pornography, but they're, they're push, they're kind of pushing the boundaries. But it, it see, seems like it's it's becoming more acceptable for these very fit, strong looking women, very beautiful, strong, have a lot of muscles, just an overall good fitness appearance. They can they can get into those those really sexy poses and not flag uh, for sexual content. They're, they're showing off a really good fit body and in different in different ways. Whereas uh, some women who just who try to who don't work out, they want to exercise, don't have really fit bodies and they try to like flaunt themselves in more sexual ways. And I think that's becoming less acceptable than than uh, getting really fit. And, and kind of pushing the the sexual boundaries, but it's in the name of, of showing off your fitness. All right, been pretty lazy today. That's looking north of the city, the direction I'm heading. And I'm walking up the water tower hill, which is uh, visible from the library. There's no way they let people up on that staircase. All right, as I thought they have a door part way up. Oh, somebody lives up here. Wow. Monitored by a video. I don't, oh, there it is, okay. And there's also people who live on the very top. So it says Walsenburg. And there's lights on, got a cell phone tower. I wonder if they get some kind of a discount being up here. <laughs> There's plenty of room for another house. All right, it's 2 a.m. and I just I feel a little sick and I did have yogurt. I cut out yogurt a couple, for a couple of days, for a few days. And I felt fine, and now the sickness came back a little bit after having that yogurt. And I'm only halfway through it, so I think I better toss it. I don't think an actual drop of rain has fallen. It's all wet just because of fog alone. It's kind of cool. It's very, very moist. It doesn't feel humid, but... Well, it kind of does. So you got East Africa blend, Rwanda, 100% Colombia. <clears throat> Trace. Maybe this is how the floods start first. Fog. First it fogs, then it floods. If I could get another one of these Rothko bags, I'd have to start early on reinforcement stitching. These things fall apart really easy. You just, you want to start early on putting stitching all over so that it at least stays together. You don't have to patch up holes if you already got stitching in the spots. They reinforce with the stronger thread. That way it'll prevent these, these holes that you got to coat 
close up. I've given new life to this inside pocket. So in the back, I want to sew all over the back. It's kind of difficult to reach the back, but it's important to cover. And then I'll have to sew this shut. Stitching actually broke that uh, separated these two pockets. So I tossed some thread in there. Quick fix. You can see the stitching line. I went beyond just to cover any extra loss in the future. I want to go the full length, of course. So apparently, the man who shot Jesse James lived in this city. And the ho house he lived in is still standing, but I haven't really looked for it. Here we are as a sign that advertises Museum of Friends. I did not notice before. So, Museum of Friends. And it's this way. I don't know. I'll go down a little bit and take a look. I guess I didn't go down this road. People like this are pretty annoying when they back up over the, the sidewalk like this. They even have a fence up. You can't walk on their yard to get around them. Three cars. I have a feeling that they're, oh, this guy too up here. Usually when they're inconsiderate like that, uh, in that way, they're that inconsiderate in other ways. Huh.